Hi, um, I did a tutorial on how to decorate and prepare a cake for decoration um, and this is the result, this is the pirate cake that I was working on at the time. Um, it's worked out quite well. The board I covered in fondant and then I used edible paint to create a map um, and I used permanent black marker to draw in the boundaries and the lines um, and it's it's looking okay and it's dried well there's n there's no residue and if because it's for a 30th birthday I wanted it to be a little bit more grown up and I think it's worked out how I uh, envisaged um, because I like everything edible on the cake uh, I wanted to see treasure so I thought hmm how can I get away with this so I've actually used uh, chocolate coins so all of these are edible and I think it's quite fun. The skull and crossbones was not easy to make simply because um, it's heavy and I wanted the bones not to be two-dimensional I wanted it to be in 3D so it's real um, and adds more depth to it and I needed to prop the back up um, because it is quite heavy but you can't see any uh, any of that it's all well hidden that's as I say it's, that's the secret to um, making a, a cake look pretty professional <laughs> is by hiding and being very good at hiding uh, imperfections as you can see um, the cake is quite smooth the only thing I can put that down to is working fast with the fondant getting it on the cake quite quickly and using um, sparingly icing sugar to roll out the fondant too I don't know if you can see um, I'll try and do a close-up uh, uh, yeah, um, there's no cracking. Sometimes you will get cracking along this section um, where the fondants move down over the cake, but there isn't, and it's it's very smooth. It's it is I'm not saying it's like glass, but it's very similar to it. Um, it's just been made, so it'll take, I would say, overnight for it to totally harden uh, and for all of the glue, edible glue that is, to set. Um, so, uh, sorry about that. So there you have it. Um, it's a pirate thin cake and uh, there will be more tutorials uh, coming soon on how to make elements for the cakes but I really wanted to show you how a cake is put together and then covered with fondant and the results are like this. So thanks for your time and uh, speak to you soon. Bye!